Hello and welcome to Crossdale's Tips and Tutorials in Business Central. Today we're going to create a code unit and expose it to an API via web services. First thing we need to do is create a code unit. By the way, if you don't know how to get this new AL Wizard extension or AZ AL DevTools, you can find it in the Extensions tab. Uh, or you can follow one of our tutorials on deploying and creating extensions. We're going to create a code unit. We're going to call this Tutorial API. We're going to hit finish. We're going to create a procedure. Procedure. Just going to call this hello. It's going to return some text. And it's simply, oh, it's simply going to exit with hello world we're going to increment our version number you don't need to do this if it's a brand new project I've been using this for the tutorials in the past so just for simple sake I'll increment it here I'm going to press F5 and I'm going to deploy Business Central. Now we need to work out how to access it. What we have to do is come up to here to the magnifying glass to the search bar, type web services, hit new, select code unit, enter our code unit number. You can find that it's right here in the AL file that you generated. In our case it's 5100. This should autofill. It can take a little bit of time. I realized if this happens to you in development it's because there's a breakpoint that's hit. You can either continue or just hit stop for now. Once that's stopped we can go back to Business Central and we can see there was an error. It's fine. This was expected. We need to also give this a code unit a name. We're just going to call this the same. Tutorial API. This is going to save if you click off. Then we click publish to publish. And that will now expose that code unit to a web service. We're going to take a tool like Postman, which is used for testing API endpoints, and use it to call our code unit. The first thing we need to do is enter the web service name. You can get that by checking what we called the line, what we called the service name. Let me just find that one more time. Tutorial. We call it Tutorial API. Tutorial. API and the name of the procedure we want to call. For us, let's call it hello. When we hit post, you can see we've got this message hello world, which is what we expected. Let's say we want to pass a name through. Let's create a field called name type of text and let's say it takes 50 characters and we want it to say hello name let's stop let's redeploy with F5 let's come back to postman let's try to send now we've got an error because we didn't pass in the value of name to do that we should come to this raw option in the body Create some JSON. The field that we want to enter. And the value. If we hit send now. Here you go. We can see hello test. Thanks for watching.